Welcome and thank you for joining me today. So I'm going to share a little bit about uh, how we really create profound sales hub and experiences at our retreat center. And, um, you know, it really starts with um, an intention and preparation. And when preparation is on point, so to speak, then you're going to have an amazing experience because you're going to be prepared. And so we start that preparation four weeks before the retreat. We have a four week course and I'm going to share the first module of this, at least kind of summarize it to really help you guys see how we take someone's intention and then program it into their mind. And so four weeks before the retreat, they're already pointed in the right direction as far as the profound experience that they're going to be looking for in the sales side of an experience. They're going to be programmed for that success before they go into it. And so it sounds kind of woo woo, but we're going to go deep and it's going to be really simple. So yeah, let's go, let's ride the wave here. And, um, you know, first off, you know, Whenever, um, like another thing we do at the retreat is we do hypnotherapy and we do this because, um, normally people think with their conscious mind and the conscious mind, uh, forces things. It doesn't, you know, understand the nuances of how to really change life in a dramatic or impactful way in a very short period of time. It relies on like the deeper subconscious mind to make change in our life. And that's often why, you know, weight loss is difficult, you know, removing addictions from people's lives are difficult, like, and, and, and so forth. Why making change is sometimes a difficult thing to do because it's your conscious mind sort of trying to force a change when the subconscious mind has its own narrative and is sort of repeating that narrative because, you know, people aren't going deep enough into that feeling or that subconscious mind in order to connect and point that arrow in a new direction of how that thinking is operating. And of course, this is why psilocybin is such an effective treatment because it takes you beyond that conscious mind and back into that subconscious mind to reprogram things. And you come out the other side with this profound understanding that's, you know, fundamentally different than how you used to think and you feel differently as well. And it's a permanent change that continues to a compound over time because it's just changed on a fundamental level. And so the old you, the old version of those thoughts and the story and the other things are just going to shift into a new narrative, a new story, a new perspective, a new reality. And this is why psilocybin is so effective in a six hour experience and why like 10 years or 20 years of therapy can not make that much progress because we're staying on a thought or a conscious level um, during all those, you know, talk ther therapy sessions and thinking about those things and analyzing and judging and interpreting when that's not really where the changes needed to be made. And so back to the preparation for an, an experience. Number one, you need to identify what your intention is and, um, an intention, um, is what you want to get as far as an outcome, as far as, um, from a from a, I say retreat experience or from a psilocybin experience. And, um, you know, to hash it out, like I talk to people all day. I usually have a six to eight calls a day with people that are, you know, looking to get treatment. And, um, the first question I ask everyone is what's your intention for coming to get treatment? And I'll tell you this over half of people, you know, are basically either problem focused or symptom focused, which is like, uh, I have anxiety, I have depression. I want to get rid of it. I want to, you know, negative the negative. I want to remove the negative. Right. And so the first thing I do is I say, okay, great. So you want to overcome this and this and this, you want to overcome anxiety, depression, you know, PTSD, whatever those things are. And I ask the second question, which is what does your life look like on the other side? Most people say, I don't know. Right. Most people say, I'm not sure yet. Some people say, well, I'd like, you know, better relationships with my family. I'd like to spend more time in my hobbies. I'd like to, you know, have a healthier diet, maybe lose some weight, maybe just socialize more, maybe go out and, you know, maybe take some, you know, uh, classes, maybe advance myself professionally, you know, whatever those things are. And so this is um, where the change really occurs is when you shift your thinking into the what if this reality changed into that positive thing that's on the other side of my transformation, which is like, let's uh, use this example, all the things I said, like depression, anxiety, PTSD, right? Those are the symptoms. Those are the negatives and those are causing a negative reality. And so what if those things weren't in this reality, right? What if you didn't have anxiety, depression, and PTSD, for example, right? What would life look like? And these are very interesting questions because um, you know, the mind, the subconscious mind already knows all the answers, right? It knows all the answers. And 
it's unfortunate, but the reason people have depression or anxiety or you know don't heal from trauma is because um, their mind uh, wants them to, uh, on some level, stay the same. It's protecting themselves from you know something bad happening, or it's keeping them secure, keeping them from taking risks, keeping them from putting themselves into like precarious situations again. Um, it's a defense mechanism, and so the mind is protecting itself. And so what it does, it creates a shell around uh, an individual, which protects that person from making the change that would be you know, beneficial for them, but that mind is continuing to repeat that cycle. And, and so that mind has to change in order to, you know, move on into a new place. You're going to get a new reality. This is what psilocybin does. And so this is what we do in the first week, <laughs> going so a little deep here, uh, more than I wanted to at least. But this is what we do in the first week of the preparation course going into the retreat. And so after you get your intention, say, you know, I want to heal from PTSD, depression, and anxiety, right? So... Um, think about for yourself, ask yourself, ask your own mind the question. And this is super important when doing this exercise, right? You can't just think about it. And then like your brain produce an answer that's logical. You'll, and then you start asking those questions or else you'll just be in the mind and sort of recycling. You want to connect with that mind that's on that deeper level, the feeling or the subconscious mind, and then start asking away with the what ifs. What if this reality looked different? What if I got to ride a motorcycle every day and live an exciting life, right? What if I got to love my beautiful wife or my partner and just really express myself fully in the relationship and feel love and feel honored and feel, you know, beautiful or amazing or whatever you'd like to feel, right? You start asking these what if questions and let me add this little caveat, okay? Sometimes when you ask this what if, the subconscious mind knows everything, right? But it will have its answer based off the emotion that's stuck there. That feeling that you're feeling um, is connected with an identity. And so that identity is going to have an answer. And sometimes that what if, it's like, what if I was, you know, having an amazing time and, you know, with my family on vacation, we're all enjoying each other. Maybe your subconscious mind might give you a negative answer. And this is perfectly fine. And I want you to listen up because this is how you solve this and you point this mind into a new direction. You don't even need psilocybin. You can do this practice and reprogram your mind every single day. I do this quite often and it's extremely effective and it's permanent as, as far as you make these changes. And uh, they compound on top of each other and so they you know, all cooperate and benefit you as you program your mind on these deeper levels and then your life just seems to float like a ship in the direction that you'd actually like to go. It's fantastic. So anyway, you know, if your mind produces like a negative answer, it's like, you know, what if I'm on vacation with my kids? Like, um, it might say I'm, I'd be unhappy, right? Maybe I, you know, wouldn't be, you know, at my home gym or drinking coffee at my house or in my place where I'm comfortable, like whatever those things are. That's when you take that to the next level. It's like, what if I was happy? What if I was comfortable on the beach? What if I was in love with my family no matter where I was at? Just keep adding to the pot of these questions that are going to frame the situation that you, is ideal for you in a positive sense. And you do this all while feeling that, um, that emotion and feeling that connection with that deeper mind, which is just the feeling mind, right? The conscious mind just thinks and thinks and thinks. And, you know, it's an endless wheel. When you connect with the feeling self, it instantly changes. And so those what if questions are going to draw that mind into a new direction. And you're going to have the power aligned with what your attention wants to create in your life, which is like a positive experience for yourself, your family, and, and everyone around you, really. And um, through these questions, like if something negative comes up, you reframe it with those, with those questions. And um, the power of three is really effective here as well. And so it's like, you know, if you, if your mind comes up with like a negative thought, it's like, what if, you know, um, like my business would fail? Maybe I, what if I get fired from my job because I'm away from work? Like whatever these things are. What if you're a prosperous period? What if you're prosperous no matter what? What if you're prosperous and free? What if you're whole and, um, you know, uninhibited and just enjoying yourself no matter where you're at? Like, you keep making these suggestions and um, what's going to happen is that mind doesn't have a preference. Your subconscious mind is such a, a fast processing computer and it just literally knows these things. And so once you ask these questions, it immediately produces the answer and it doesn't have all these preferences like our conscious mind just compares and contrasts everything. It just produces the answer. It doesn't have all this bias. And so it's literally just programming this very fertile ground that's within you and it's within us all. 
And it's programmed very simply just through these suggestive answers while you're connected with that feeling and with that emotion. And you start to point that ship in a new direction of your thinking. And this is extremely effective. And so back to the intention and preparation side of going into a psilocybin experience, the first week is all about honoring that intention, asking what if that new reality had already happened? What if that new reality was already here, right? And whatever comes up in the mind, feeling it and being absolutely okay with whatever comes up. You have to be super neutral about what your mind says because if you're biased against like negative thoughts or negative feelings, you will sort of distort your thinking in a way you won't be able to see, you won't be able to you know, actually see the truth that's within you. And so you want to be very neutral about what you see in, this, in these conversations that you have with your, your, yourself and your feeling and your emotions and, um, and just continue to ask that question. So if you get stuck during that first week in your life when you're really shifting your mind from like this place where it's habitually maybe been in a negative state with you know, certain things or causing you know, like anxiety or whatever else in your life, be patient with it. And whenever that emotion comes up, you retrain your brain to follow this process and start making progress on those deeper emotional levels within yourself to point that intention towards that new reality. And what this does, it frames out your mind in such a fantastic way that it starts to create and produce things that you genuinely love in life. And um, in any time you go into a psilocybin experience, the mind, again, is like fertile ground. And so the more stable and the more connected you are going into this, it's like having a foundation. And so the higher you can go, the more benefits you can have in a transformational experience with psilocybin. And so that is how we reprogram the subconscious mind to really be prepared for a profound experience. And I hope you guys took something from this today. Drop in the comments what you've gained, what you've learned, and how you're going to apply this. And I'll look forward to speaking with you soon.